again my fellow friendly farmers. It's been almost a month since the 1.6 update and I am beyond impressed. There is a ton of new content from new items and weather conditions to a bit of good old fan service. So I made a list of the top 10 new secrets in Stardew Valley 1.6. If you're still looking to play this yourself soon, be warned, some major spoilers are coming up. If you're a console gamer, you might not want to wait around forever. Let me know your favorite new thing in the comments below. Alrighty, let's jump right in. I was just minding my business on the farm when I was suddenly attacked by a hidden crab truffle. I was definitely surprised to see it. It seemed these weak little crabs can hide under truffles, much like the rock crabs in the mines. They appear even if monster spawns on the farm are disabled. These crabs will keep you on your toes, but they're not super strong, so be sure to keep your sword handy. At number 9, we got fresh Clint dialogue. The nicest guy in the valley got some long-awaited character development. I won't spoil it all, but it's nice to hear Clint say how much he enjoys his job. People think he hates it, but that's just because Clint does not care to correct them. Maybe it's finally time to befriend Clint and even encourage him to marry Emily. Or tell him not to, of course. I mean, he does have all the minerals she could ever need. Next is St. Patrick's Day. It's a secret little addition, but I love it nonetheless. On the 17th of spring, head over to the Cindersap Forest and approach the waterfall near the abandoned house. Here you'll find a pot of gold waiting for you at the end of the rainbow. The pot drops the adorable leprechaun hat and a spot of gold. This happens every year and can be a welcome early money boost in year one. Once per summer, the weather people will be left scratching their heads as the clouds start to gather. In a total freak of nature, the valley gets soaked with green rain. Trees will grow moss, which you should collect like crazy for this amazing statue of blessing, which gives one random buff per day. Or for some bait, fiddlehead ferns sprout all over the valley and saplings have a chance to become fully grown. The rain effects are due your town folk too. Demetrius, Linus, and Leah seem unbothered, but everyone else take cover. The rain makes every house in Pelican Town accessible for the entire day and even allows access to some rooms that are still locked behind a heart event. Very mysterious indeed. One thing that was severely lacking in 1.5 was horse care. I love my trusty steed, Steven. So, in 1.6, we can now feed our horse some carrots. This tasty snack will boost its movement speed for the rest of the day. Just another reason to grow carrots. Your future steed will be very grateful. The horse speed buff is nothing huge, but it is still something. This could work well with some spicy eel and a coffee if you want to make yourself go lightning fast. Now, if you're confused about the lost one, no need to feel bad. Carrots are one of the four new seasonal crop types that have found their way to the valley. Their seeds are all hidden in plain sight, and they can really start to stack up if you're an active forager. Carrots can be found in green tree roots and golden fishing chests from the 21st of winter to the 23rd of spring. Incredibly, they only take three days to grow, which makes them the perfect early snack or money maker if you have a keen eye and good luck. The other three new crop seeds drop from seed spots, golden fishing chests, and skull cavern barrels as their respective seasons begin. The summery squash takes six days to grow and produces additional harvests every three days after. You can find squash seeds between the 24th of spring and the 20th of summer. This one would look very well next to a blueberry patch. For fall, we got broccolis. Everyone's favorite tiny tree takes 8 days to grow with extra harvests every 4 days after. Their seeds drop from the 21st of summer to the 20th of fall. I am most hyped about the final new crop which grows in winter. It's called the powder melon and takes 7 days to grow. But if you know anything about melons, you already know what's up. The powder melon is indeed a new giant 
find crop type. Be sure to plant them everywhere. You can find them from the 21st of fall to the 20th of winter. Complete some quests in Snursa Forest and the raccoon wife will start selling these new seeds as well. At number 4, we have one more reason to start a new farm. When you create your farmer, you can keep scrolling to find new cat and dog variants. The new kitties are especially cute. You can see your pet's heart level and after maxing it out, your pet will start Start bringing you gifts. This can be anything from fish to rabbit's feet. Even better, you can now adopt a second pet after maxing out your first by purchasing a second bowl and a pet home spot. After that, Marnie will have another pet for you to purchase. This was definitely a contender for number one. At number three, we have a new pet type. Say hello to the turtle. Like the rain and broccoli, this green new addition is very welcome indeed. I mean, just look at their cute little faces. You can buy turtles for more of course. I shall definitely be getting some of these cuties for my Meadowlands farm ASAP. Clint made an appearance earlier on this list and he can help us out with number two on this list. Mystery boxes. Like geodes, you pay Clint a small fee to open them. These boxes can drop a wide variety of items from cooked food to weapons. You can actually get the ossified blade from a mystery box as well, which was a strongly missable weapon in 1.5. Mystery boxes are hidden all around the valley but only start showing themselves after you've spent 50 days in the game. You can find them in tree roots, fishing treasures or even just regular old mining nodes. I love that a new treasure item has been added to the game. And now, the number one new hidden thing in Stardew Valley 1.6. It's the evil purple shorts. You can place a staircase in Lewis's bedroom that will lead you to a basement stacked with a barrel maze. Make it through and you will be rewarded with a pair of purple shorts. But here's where it gets crazy. A pair of cursed purple shorts will spawn when you pick yours up. It'll fly around and try and hit you, all while being completely immune to all attacks. This is both creepy and hilarious, which earns it the number one spot on this list. You can also repeat this trick as many times as you want. You can put the regular purple shorts in Emily's sewing machine along with a gold bar and you will get trimmed wearable shorts. And there you have it! 10 new hidden stuff that came with the 1.6 update. There is a lot more to discover, so subscribe for more Easy Lily and remember to comment your favorite thing in the comments below. On a quick personal note, I'm almost done setting up my new studio, so I will continue streaming Stardew Valley on Twitch and YouTube in the upcoming week. Hope to see you there! And don't stress my dear Lillian's new studio tour is coming very soon. Anyways. I will see you in the next video.